Hello, my name is Jeffrey Pendis, and this is my final project. Uh, it's a 4-bit ALU for Design of Digital Circuits, EE5143. So here's my best BC3 board, and see if I can get the light to work with me a little bit here. So it's currently programmed. The way this works is, I'm going to use my pen for a pointer. These four slider switches here represent the B operand. These four slider switches here represent the A operand. These three are the um, ALU opcode. This is this LED right here represents a zero output, and these four LEDs are my results output or my S output. So you'll notice below that there's a uh, piece of paper with the uh, bit order labeled so this is read as B0, B1, B2 and B3. This is read as A0, A1, A2, A3 and same with the opcode and the S code where each, each number uh, correlates to the, uh, the um, variable underneath. So I've inserted these pieces of paper to make it a little bit easier for me to slide the right switches as I go through and to give it a more separation up here for the LEDs. So the way the slider switches are set up is when they're in the down position closest to the edge of the, the development board they represent zero, logical zero, and then when they're in the opposite direction, opposite position, the up position, they represent a logic one. And then the LEDs, when they're turned off like so, they represent a zero, and when they're illuminated, they represent a one. So right now, the, the development board is programmed with my software. It's currently in opcode zero 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 since all three of these slider switches are down which represents a logical and so for the first test what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slide all four of these switches the A inputs up you notice none of the, the uh, LEDs illuminated so then I'm gonna go ahead and slide all four of these back down and then all four of these B inputs up you notice none of the inputs illuminated as I'm doing a uh, bitwise logical and between a well essentially four um, zeros and four ones and the results are all the LEDs are off so it's all zeros so then if I take the A inputs and I slide each one up. Notice that now it's uh, one 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 and zero 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 one. Now it's two and the last one. So now I've got a logical and between one 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 and one 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 one. So I'm going to go ahead and slide all four of the B inputs back down. And then I'm going to turn to the next opcode, which is a logical OR. Uh, and that is with ALU OP equal to 001. You notice that all four LEDs are illuminated with a logical OR between 1111 and zero 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 in the same as well as I turn each one of these off you'll notice the LEDs in the, the same order go off and if I turn each one of these on so I would turn the middle one on now that it's just a logical or So the next one I'm going to do is oops, turn this one down and this one up 
Now I've got a a uh, shift left, which only operates on my A input. So you'll notice I've currently got 1100, which outputs, uh, shifts everything to the left one, one uh, bit and um, adds zero to the least significant bit. So now my 0011 has turned into 0110. If you follow the order of my finger. So zero one one zero. Over here I've got zero zero one one. And then the same if I slide another one that means just the the most significant A bit is now uh, uh, a zero and the remaining are all ones. And then if I switch that up, you'll notice it doesn't make a difference because it's it shifted off. Same if turn this one off. Now I lose what was originally my least significant bit, which was that LED. And this one's always always a zero because this is the, the shift in bit. So if uh let me just reset here for a moment so I don't lose what I'm doing. So the uh, the logical shift left only uh, works with the uh, the A input. It doesn't the B input doesn't have any effect on the the shift. All right. All right. So for the next one, I'm going to do is opcode ALUOP011, which is my addition um, code. So you'll Go ahead and set a, try a, a three, and we'll say three plus three, which you'll notice over here is six, which is zero, one, one, zero. And then we'll try another one. So we'll say, uh, turn this to 11. So now we've got, 11 which is 1011 plus 3 which is 0011 uh, and that gives me the output of 111 so this also um, it, it only goes up to 4 bit so if I just say switch all these up and all these up you notice it just it rolls over and starts to count again at zero. So essentially, um, one, 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 one plus one, 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 one is displayed as um, essentially 14. So you can see that roll over if I just turn all of these off. So now I've got uh, one, 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 one plus, and we add one more. Notice they all go off, so that rolls it back over to zero. And the same if I add two by selecting the that logic switch. Notice it now is equal to one. So that's that's the addition rolling over. So for the next op code, we are going to do the greater than, which is we'll reset these, turn that one up. So now my op code is one zero zero it's the greater than uh, equal to where it is a is greater than or equal to b so the way this works is if if the uh, if it's true that a is greater than or equal to b all four of the LEDs will illuminate meaning that it's true so if it's equal to it where a equals b you'll also in addition to having all four of these LEDs illuminated, you also have the zero LED illuminated. So just to, to show that, if I toggle all these up, you'll see the last one also illuminated. So then to show the opposite of that, if A is less than B, notice all the LEDs are off, which means that the, the uh, operation is, is false. So a 
um, is not greater than or equal to b. So just to show a, another one of those, we'll say um, it's another case where a equals 0, 1, 1, 1, and b also equals 0, 1, 1, 1. So that means it's true and the zero LED is illuminated. So it's, they're equal to one another. And then just to show it, still greater than, but not, not equal to. You see all the LEDs are once again illuminated saying it is true that they are equal to one, or they are, A is greater than B, but they're not equal to one another. And then to make the case false, there is a, uh, a is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1, and B is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, and that's false for being greater than or equal to. For the next one, we're going to increment our opcode by 1, which now makes this a less than equal to operation. And this has the same output as what the greater than equal to has with the exception of it no longer uses the zero zero output LED the uh, greater than equal to operation is the only operation that uses that output but it, it's the same type of output meaning that when A is less than B and that case is true then all four of these LEDs will illuminate as you see here meaning that this zero zero one one is less than zero one one zero and then if we make that false you notice that all four LEDs turn off meaning that it's false so for the next one we're going to increment our operations code by one more by sliding this switch down and that one up. So now we have an opcode of 110, which is our shift right um, operation. And you'll notice that it also only works with the A operand. So it takes what I currently have, which is 0011, and you can see the output over here, it's already shifted it. So it's now 0001. So then, essentially this one, because it's being shifted off, will, doesn't have any effect. So if I turn, make that a zero, I notice it doesn't, doesn't change any of the LED statuses. And then if I, add, if I uh, switch on the most significant bit of the A operand, you'll notice that that is shifted over one. So now it's the second, uh, second from the the left or the second from the most significant bit uh, as an output and then if I turn them all on you'll notice that the bit shifted right output of 1111 is 0111 all right for the last one we're gonna increment our opcode by 1 which now turns this into subtraction our opcode is now ALU OP is equal to 111, which is our subtraction operation. And we have, and it works by uh, A subtract B. So right now our A is 1111, and it's subtracting 0000. zero, zero, zero. So if we turn on our most significant B bit, you'll notice we have A is equal to one 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 subtract one zero 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 which equals our s output of zero one 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 we can take another one there but the uh, next the, um, the output of the uh, subtraction works similarly to the uh, addition where if we um, just to make this a little simpler. I'm trying to follow my finger on the camera here. If 
we subtract uh, one more than our a, or if we let our b equal one more than what our a is, the s output rolls over. So right now we have an a operand of one zero 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 and a b operand of one zero zero zero. If we increment our b by one, notice our s output rolls over and becomes an s output of one 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 one.